Just get that done. And uh, it's getting quite dark, but uh, I'm gonna do some job, something, uh, work a little bit on the the engine or the chassis, and hopefully. Okay, so right now we have only one mission, so there's no way I'm going on a mission anytime soon. I want to get a few missions so I can do more at once. So we need to start use the jack to get the car off. So we want to get that centered. I want to push it a little bit further in, like that, and let's. The sounds are really nasty on this car when you lift it up. I really just hope I don't get any damage on the on the chassis. All right, uh, now that's hoisted. So let's start working on the chassis. So uh, what you want to go with first is when I write out the subframe. You want to place that inside like that. Uh, now I'm gonna take my tools out into the yard like that and we'll I think the subframe is with 9 if I'm not completely mistaken no it's bigger than that so let's try 10 10 is the answer so there's one there and one behind here and the same on the other side. All right. So um, next up, we're gonna grab the wishbones. This is front left. We drop that for a second and turn it this way. Oh, don't wanna touch the car too much because it has a tendency to pass out a little bit uh, those are oh there's those are also 10 so perfect combination and I want to get this done before I run out of daylight because you can't really work at that on night on the nights so let's grab that and place it in on the other side Okay, so um, I think I'm gonna get the steering rack and the rods in place. For this, I'm gonna have to do something dangerous and jump into the car. Something you really don't wanna do too much. Oh, let's we get the. Wanna get it out without touching the car too much. Come on. Come on, I hate moving around in here. Oh. Those are sadly not 10. Uh, can I get the toolbox from here? Yeah, I can. Let's place that up there and put it on the windshield. Perfect. So. Okay, let's go a little bit smaller. 9. 9. All right, the steering rack is in, and now I want to get out of this before, without destroying the car. <laughs> so we'll put in the steering rods. This is front right, so it's supposed to be here. Uh, let's actually try and crouch down a little bit and then lean in. Oh. Perfect. Uh, those are actually not attached to the steering rack. The bolt is here and it will get into another part later on. So let's put in the other rod. Come on. Ah, there we go. Uh, next up, we'll grab the struts. So let's start with front left and there you go this way oh fuck. that's the part you don't you really don't want the car to move at all when you do this 
Actually, I completely forgot about something. I'm stupid. Front left. Spindle. We need to put in the spindles before we put in the struts. So let's get that down from there. Uh, there's one bolt that holds this in place underneath the spindle. If I can, oh, there, there I see it. I just feels like those good. Oh, yeah, they are. For those that want to know, that was size 12. Let's uh, put in the other spindle before we continue. So now we should be able to attach the strut without any issues. Come on. Is this front left? Yeah, front left. Come on, you bitch. There we go. Oh god, what are those now? Straight 11. Nope. 10. Nope. Oh, I forgot those. I'll put those in in a moment. There. Like that. And uh, let's let's do the other strut while we know that we have the the correct for those bolts, the correct size. Okay, all the struts are in. At least those screws. Let's go on the upside and find a good. Uh, they have to be bigger than number 10, maybe. Yep, 10. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> The upside of the struts. Those. Oh, sorry. Come on. Go into tool mode. Now we need this big bolt over here. And that will snap the steering stuff into place. And let's also attach the other one. Alright, there we go. So. As you see, the car has been moving slightly to the right. As you remember, I put that in the middle. That's a little bit worrying. It's definitely moving. I don't like that. But let's continue anyway. So I want to go with the brake pads or disc brakes. Okay, so it's getting a bit dark here. But you see, there's one thing that attached those, but you do not want to put that in yet because these half shafts need to go in before you attach that because those things also hold the half shafts in place. So you wanna place the half shafts in before we attach that bolt. This was one thing I had huge problems with figuring out when I first built it. So those are really really big so let's try, see if it's the biggest one. It's not the biggest one, let's try the, ne the next biggest. Yep. They hold a lot in place so they need to be big. And now we can actually put on the front wheels. So that's right rear, right left front right so that's over here oh and it's up on at least that wheel uh, that's not good uh, let's <laughs> put on the other one front left oh. there we go and we'll try with a size 10 no let's try 11 Well, come on, how big can it be? 13? It's a 13. Oh, 
Okay, so right now it's way too dark to work on the back side of the car. So I'm gonna let uh, take down the floor jack. We're gonna use that on the back side once it's morning, but right now it's way too dark to work back here. I hope this car won't pass out and uh, damage itself too much. But let's now think it's time to go and sleep. But first let's take care of some bodily functions. You don't die of fatigue to be honest, you just leak really really tired. So I want to start by hopefully we have some heat left in this sauna. We can get... According to that we don't, but let's see if, if it activates. What? Alright, we seems to have some heat left, so let's then grab some beer and have ourselves a little bit of a sauna session. Alright, we seem to have lost our heat now. But I got my my dirtiness down quite a bit with that, so I'm happy. In the sauna you don't need to clean up your beer. But you need to close the door. All the, all the times. Okay, let's go for piss and head to bed. Okay, let me also quickly save the game here. Since we have built our engine and our front suspension and steering parts, so I think we can very well save it so we don't lose any progress. Of course, saving the game will cause my missions to despawn. But I highly doubt I will be doing any missions on this gaming session, so might as well just save when we can. And the lights always go off then. No missions, as you see the sewage mission that was over here is now gone. So, time for bed. <laughs> 